Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. Nigeria close to becoming a failed state, says Financial Times. My wonderful people, it is a sad reality of the true state of what is on ground. President Muhammad Buhari has finally tipped the nation overboard to the extent that other nations have made us a laughing stock. Despite all the mineral resources we are blessed with, it is clear that Nigerian government cannot efficiently supervise and help Nigeria to become great. Every day, insecurity, failure in nation, in na in nation growth, even building, they said they are constructing fails and collapse on people death and a host of other things are all attributing factor to the fact that nigeria has become a failed state anyway my people don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time we really appreciate you nigeria close to becoming a failed state says financial times the financial times of london has described nigeria as a country going backward economically and plunged with terrorism, illiteracy, poverty, bandits, kidnapping, risk becoming a fair state if things don't take drastic turn. The UK-based newspaper said this in an edition on Tuesday titled Nigeria at Risk of Becoming a Failed State. It says the adoption and subsequent rescue of over 300 schoolboys in Kankari, Kastina, reveal memories of the 200, revive the memory of the 276 Chibo school girls adopted in Brunu State in 2014. According to the newspaper, while the government claimed that no ransom was paid to the adopters of the schoolboys, remains doubtful other facts of criminality could not be overlooked. The editor read in part, the government instead insists no ransom was paid. Sarcasm is warning in a country going backward, economically carjacked, kidnapping, bandits, and among others, Nigeria rare growth, industrial non-development. Just like the boys were going home, Nigeria pir pirates, adapters, six Ukrainian soldiers off. The definition of a failed state is one where the government is no longer in control. By this yastic, Africa's most populous country is, test is testing and testing on the Blake. The newspaper also questioned the claim of President Major General Muhammad Buhari retired that the B-Boys have been technically defeated. It's clear that he was lying. It was contrary to the government's claim that the B-Boys remain at the event present threats to the country. The Financial St Times stated that President Muhammad Buhari in 2015 pronounced the B-Boys technically defeated. That has proven a lie. The B-Boys have remained an ever-present threat and the leading kidnapping turned out to be its work. It would mark the spray of terrorism and groups in the northern east of Nigeria, which continue to ravage the area. Even if the mass adoption was carried out by ordinary bandits, as now looks possible, it underlined the fact that chronic criminality and violence, deadly clash between headsmen and settled farmers have spread to most parts of the country. In an oil-rich country, most impoverished, the Delta region. The extent to the sabotage of the pipeline is unspeakable. The newspaper said security is not only the area where the country and is a state of failure. The Financial Times added that Nigeria has more poor people than any other country, even as Nigeria has the highest number of out-of-school children on earth today. The newspaper stated as oil country 
to lose its value, Nigeria economy would worsen. The population already above 200 million is growing at a break of 2.3% a year. The economy has stayed since 2015 and reliving, reliving are declining. This year, the economy will shrink 4% after COVID-19, a further blow. In any case, as the world turns greener, the elite's scraps for oil revenue will become a game of diminishing, re diminishing return. The country desperately needs to put our finances up by foreign borrowing on a sounding footing, it says. The newspaper said Buhari, who has less than three years left in office, must use the remaining of his tenure to reboost effort in improving security. It advised the government to restore trust in key institutions, among them the judiciary, the security, the security services, electoral commission, which will presides over 2023 election. The Financial Times says the NSAS protest led by Nigerian youth signed the grounds of hope for Nigeria tending youth population. In addition, the broad coalition that formed political expression this year of the NSAS movement against police brutality provide a sharp of optimism. At least Nigeria has a relatively stable democracy, now Nigerian youth, creative, enterprising, and less tentacle to the politics of the today Nigeria people. She used that system to reset the country in the right course. We see that the youth is the only hope for Nigeria if the government will give them an opportunity to show the truth of what they can do. The newspaper concluded by saying, that it was time for Nigeria to restructure its political system, concentrate on security, health, education, power, and roads. At the present, the population will double to 400 million by 2050 if nothing is done long before then. Nigeria will become a problem far too big for the world to ignore it once. My people, this is the prediction, okay, on our mother's land. I don't know what your thoughts are, but this is a very far, a sad reality of what is on ground. I would like to hear from you, you know, and uh, the very, they said one very key thing that struck, that stuck with me. They said the youth, NSAS proved that the youth of Nigeria can put the country back in, on track if Nigeria government will give them a chance. What do you think? Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.